Hi everyone, in this technique video, I'm going to show you how to do the Pico bind off edge. I showed this recently in the Pico crescent shawl video that I posted, but I wanted to show you a slower demo and then also show you a couple different options, especially how to create alternate stitch Pico edges um, for the final for the final bind off since I didn't demonstrate that in that in the crescent shawl video. So creating a Pico bind off, you can do it for any project really. Um, if you just wanted to create a decorative edge on the on the end or if you bind off stitches as part of the project along the way then you can certainly create a pico edge like we did for the crescent shawl so i have here just a, a sample with garter stitch um, just for this demonstration and first i'm going to show you how to bind off each stitch in a in a pico edge so we'll do that for the first maybe two or three stitches so you can start off by creating two stitches or casting on two stitches using the knitted cast on technique. So here I am casting on one stitch and casting on a second stitch. If you're not familiar with this technique, I've provided a link to that video in the description field. All right, so cast on two stitches. Now I'm gonna knit the first stitch, knit the second stitch, cast that first stitch over, just like a regular bind off. And do that one more time knit the next stitch, pass that stitch over, and do it a third time. Knit the next stitch, pass the previous stitch over. Okay, and in doing so, I have created this little pico, this little bubble. Now I'm gonna take the stitch and put it back. So I started off the sample with 18 stitches, and now I am at 17, right? Which means I have bound off one stitch or cast off one stitch and created a pico in the process. Let's see that again. So now I'm going to cast off the next stitch with a pico edge or a pico. So create two stitches or cast on two stitches. Then knit the first stitch. Knit the next stitch. Pass it over stitch pass it over and the next stitch pass it over bring the stitch back we'll see that one more time knit one knit two pass the stitch over in, over, and one more time, and over, okay? And I have now created three picots. I've bound off three stitches and created three picots. And you can see those picots are fairly close to each other. Now, if you didn't want them this close to each other, <clears throat> example for the, in the crescent shawl, I have the picots um, on the final bind off. I have a note to, to um, bind or do a pico bind off for every alternate stitch and just do a regular bind off in between. Let me show you how to do that. So let's say now I want to space my picots out by one stitch, right? So at this point, if we were doing a pico bind off for each stitch, I would have put my stitch back on. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the stitch on here. My next stitch, I'm just going to knit a regular knit and then I'm gonna pass this stitch over that stitch. So I'm binding off one stitch doing a regular bind off at this point, okay? So you can see here, hopefully you can see here on the video, I've cast off this additional stitch here after this, this pico edge. Now, if I wanna do a pico on this next one, I will need to bring it back on here to create my two additional stitches and then to do the pico edge for that. So I'm gonna a pico, a little pico right here as I'm binding off the stitch the same way, passing off the stitches three times, and the third time, and I've created a pico. So let me show you here. So you can see the difference right here. You've got the picos on each stitch. Here I inserted just a regular stitch and then created a pico. If you wanted to space these picots out even further on a project, you can bind off additional stitches doing just a regular bind off, a regular cast off, and then create a picot on the next stitch. Just remember that whenever you want to create a picot on the stitch, bring the stitch back 
and then do the additional two stitches to create a pico. If you just if you've just created a pico or just bound off a stitch and want to bind off the next stitch, you don't need to bring the stitch back. You just need to knit the next stitch and um, do a regular bind off. Okay. So I hope this demonstration has helped. Um, and I hope you get to give this a try on one of your projects, or if you try the Crescent Shawl project, I provided a link to that at the end of this at the end of this video. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments field for me. Thanks for watching, and I hope you subscribe to my channel. Happy knitting!